Hello and welcome back to another video. So, um, I looked up for a looked up on YouTube and egg cannon for Minecraft Bedrock, but or egg launch or something. But I couldn't find one, so I decided to build one, and it's pretty simple. Uh, I am a bit on the, the clock on the clock here because uh, these two shulkers have to up at this uh, one dispenser through a couple of hoppers here and there. You know, Hopper here and hopper here, going into hopper here, going into the dispenser. Um, that is powering this piston, which uh, is starting that redstone clock, which is dispensing the eggs, but it's also coming around here and turning off this redstone torch by this uh, repeater on four ticks delay. I'm pretty sure it's four. Um, and that, uh, when uh, uh, the dispenser is empty, the piston will be tracked, this will stop powering that to repeater. And we'll launch a TNT from these uh, uh, dispensers. And there's nine dispensers, and they were all heat, you know, so now one TNT, so that's nine uh, blocks of TNT to launch the eggs. Uh, down here, there's not much. There's a soul sand, uh, uh, soul sand block, and then the ten blocks of water to create a bubble column that is holding the eggs in place, ready for launch. Um, so yeah, pretty simple. Not much red stuff, nothing much to it really. Um, this red shulker is just for the TNT that I use to stock the dispensers. And yeah, uh, you could replace these shulker boxes with, uh, um, with an egg farm if you really wanted, but I would only really recommend that if you have like a ton of sand and TNT that you're willing to spend because it would just like dispense one egg and then launch that one egg. So yeah, I wouldn't really recommend that, I would just recommend filling up a couple of shulk boxes with eggs. Um, so yeah, uh, other than that, not much. It is pretty easy to hide because um, these two blocks here are the only two blocks that need to be you know visible. So. You could hide literally everything else in, like, say, the side of a mountain, and yeah, that would really confuse your friends. Like, why are there chickens all over my base? Um, oh, yeah, and one last thing that really needs to be pointed out is that uh, in survival, if you have these two short, you know, you have short boxes here, uh, you will want to put a lever here so you can power the dispenser so it won't dispense the short boxes when you're trying to collect them. Uh, otherwise, if they go in the hoppers, they will just be dispensed. And it's even worse if you have chickens it load, eggs loaded. Because then uh, it'll dispense the shulker and then the shulker will break all the eggs. You could also just like forget this auto launching bit here and you just, just replace this with a button instead of like a redstone torch. Uh, that also works. Yeah, itchy nose. But yeah, I'd say we're, <laughs> we're almost out of eggs. Oh, yeah, that shulker box is out of eggs. This is getting low on eggs. Yeah, pretty soon here we'll see this empty out of eggs and uh, it'll launch the eggs. Uh, and this red concrete is pretty much the minimum distance you, the eggs will be launched. And as you can see, I'm not even sure if we can even see the end here. Let me get a spray glass real quick. Yeah, we can just barely see the end with the spy glass. And I've got a pretty deep decent PC, so uh, yeah, my render distance is quite high. You almost done there? Oh, yeah, just a few more eggs. So I'm going to go back here. Oh. Yeah, I can sometimes launch a couple of TNT. That's a button is more reliable, but that's there uh, if you want to do it automatically. Is launching two TNT is not gonna really break it, but it might um, be a, is it a bit of a waste. And as you can see, yeah, we have just like chickens everywhere, and they and it does kill a couple of them if like two TNT gets launched out. Um, but there are a couple of ways you can avoid that. Um, so as you can see here, chickens everywhere. Uh, they could get launched about at least 378 blocks. Um, so 
So yeah, pretty decent. And that's just from nine TNT. You can just like keep expanding that, and they can, and they, they'll probably get like, get launched into the sunset. But this is meant to be as like simple as possible. At first, I wasn't even thinking of putting an auto launcher on it. I thought that would have been too complicated. But right now, all you need is like a repeater uh, and a uh, red and a redstone torch. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What well, we saw there with it uh, um, igniting uh, two lots of TNT. Um. Is probably uh, just. Uh, um. Actually, I'm not exactly sure where it was because the piston should have extended straight up from that, so I don't know. Maybe it was just. Oh, yes, yes, I know where it was. I do know where it was. It's just me being silly. Um, I compacted this a little bit uh, and completely forgot that the ob other observer would be powering that. So, yeah, you, you just need to have a slab there instead of a block. So that it doesn't lo uh, set off two lots of TNT, and you'll probably have some more chickens because that second load of TNT probably killed a few chickens. Um, earlier, when I was like set, uh, you know, building this and trying to get a get it to auto auto launch, I had a bit of trouble with it sending out two lots. Like when it would explode, the first lot of TNT, the second lot would collide with the eggs, I think, and then the eggs because like they. You know, hatch if you like hit an entity with them, would hit the TNT block entities and they'd all hatch inside of the machine instead of getting launched. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but thankfully, it didn't happen that time. But yeah, just you just have to make sure that that block is a slab or any other block in the game that does not get powered by redstone. And yeah. That's it. And I don't have to worry about that dispensing the. Things because they were empty and I'm in creative. So yeah, pretty simple um, and pr really effective. Like, really, you, you could just like set this up hundreds of blocks away from your friend's base, and they might not even notice it. And it, it and uh, this is pre almost level, so you don't. And obviously, like if you build it lower to their base, it'll lower down. And you'll have shorter range. If you build it higher up, it'll have even higher range. But yeah, this is about, this is like five blocks higher. So you're not getting that much extra range. And again, I have a pretty bulky PC. Uh, I believe I have like 40 odd uh, chunks worth of uh, render distance. And you can just barely see it off in the distance there. Like even with like that, you'd have to use a you know, spyglass to really see it. And yeah. Uh, but I believe it is literally like so far that on a uh, realm you will just have to follow the eggs because they'll go into um, the chunks that are simulated and because those chunks are simulated the entities in the unsimulated chunk just freeze so uh, yeah probably not a uh, super good idea if you can to build this and like let them just build up in the unsimulated chunks because then when you load in those unsimulated chunks you will just crash the uh, world, which yeah, not a good idea. Um, probably you'd probably want to like find out to kill the uh, egg entities uh, if you're if you've got commands on. And if you don't have commands on, then those chunks are forever uh, unplayable because you will just be launching low. So yeah, like I said, I would just recommend just like putting a couple of shulkers of uh, eggs in there, launching them, follow them to your friend's base, make sure they're not stuck in unsimulated chunks. And then go for another round, or have like a f another friend of yours like load the uh, go you know follow the eggs into your friend's base while you're setting up the next load. Um, so yeah, hope you did enjoy this video. Hope you have a lot of fun messing with your friends with this machine. Um, and you could do this with ju just about uh, any entity that doesn't take. I mean, I think you could probably even do this with. Um, with ah, uh, what are they called? Armor stands. If you modified it, but that would be from just launching armor stands into your friend's base. Um, you can't do this with ender pills. Well, you could do this with ender pills, 
but you need to like you probably need to modify a bit because uh, this is not enough space for an ender pearl because if I if I get one and uh, if I get an ender pearl real quick I just like come in here and I just chuck a pearl straight down I end up on the bottom so you probably will need uh, more um, bubble columns to do ender pills. Yeah, man, there we go. Um, if you want to launch ender pills, but you can probably modify it, give it more bubble columns uh, to do ender pills. You might need to break that slab and replace it with a button, but I don't know. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you in whatever I decide to do next, because I'm not even sure if I, I just want to share this. So if it was cool, don't know if I'm going to make any more videos again, start making video games, or live, live streaming, maybe, maybe not. Depends on how I feel. Bye-bye.